If you are new here, welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. If you are a re returning subscriber, welcome back. I love you. And I love my new subscriber too, but I love you too. Make sure your notification bell is turned on and you have all the notification bells turned on so you get notified for every video when I upload because I am uploading okay okay and i really appreciate you all but today's video is a few different ways on how i style my head wraps using one head wrap you can use whatever you have at home an infinity scarf a t-shirt use what you have you don't have to go online ordering but the hair wrap that i'm wearing today i do believe that it is black owned i just don't know where i got it from hopefully i can get on instagram and try to search up that company and speaking on Instagram, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because I like to post there on a lot. I like to post, well, I don't post on the feed. I post on my Insta story a lot more than I post on my feed. I don't know. I like Insta story. That's me. But let's get into this video. So for the first head wrap style, and I will be looking down at my mirror because this is where I'm at. The camera's up here. But... So the first style that we're going to do is like a simple basic turban head wrap. It's a turban. I feel like it's two different things. I'll insert both of them if they are two different things. But the head wrap that I am using, so y'all know, is this one. It's very big. It's very long and beautiful. And I have two of them, but I don't even feel like looking for another one. So... And this is the biggest one I have right now until I get some more. But I had the same one for about three years. So for the first style, you're just gonna put it over your head. I'm going to line up the front of <laughs> the front of the head wrap with my hairline. I'm pulling it too on both ends to make sure it's nice and flat. I'm gonna pull it back to the back of my head. Here's a side view, so you can see that I am holding, holding both ends, ouch, both ends. Pinch. So now with that, I'm gonna take my left hand, I'm gonna gather as if I'm putting my hair in a ponytail. Scrunch it all together. I won't let go of my right hand until I have it fully in my left hand. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take your right hand, the open hand, Smooth this out first. And I'm going to start to twist it. I'm gonna twist it until it's nice and tight enough for me. And I won't let go of my left hand until I feel that it's nice and secure. And I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping it. We'll tighten it to the point where it starts to kind of wrap on its own. It'll be nice and sturdy like this. So that means it's like ready to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn to the back so you all can see. Take it to the next hand and just go in a nice circle. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split them in half. And I have them nice, but I'm holding the bun part. You see the two? I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna keep wrapping it around. And I'm twisting as I wrap too, because that makes it a little bit more secure. And then once you get to the end, you can go ahead and tuck that in place into a nice good spot. Make sure it's really in there and tucked so it doesn't come loose. So like this, so before I proceed, I'm gonna leave it like this so you all can see that you can also wear it in a style similar to this. And just leave one 
out then a little bit like that but what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the loose end i'm going to cover it and form a ball So I'm gonna spread it out, cover the bun, and on one side, I'm gonna start twisting it as if I'm doing a flat twist. And you really wanna make sure that is secure because you, if you're looking at how I'm looking underneath this, underneath, <laughs> underneath this head wrap, like Felicia, you want to make sure it's nice and secure. I see I do have this little piece kind of left out. You can leave it as is, but I'm going to try to make sure it's nice and tucked. So I'm going to spread it out, hold it with this little finger, and I'm going to just try to tuck it in if I can. Do what I can. If not, it's no big deal. And then we'll just go ahead and fix this in the front. And I don't like my ears out because I feel like I look weird with my ears out. Like that. So I do have my edges exposed. You can leave your edges how you like them. I typically, for the most part, for probably like 80% of the time, I really do not like laying my edges. I don't know. Is it just me? I don't I don't know, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and try to lay my edges. And I say try because it's been a while. So first, I'm going to try with my Eagle Styler. I also have, this is the olive oil one, I believe. Yeah, the olive oil Eagle Styler. And I also have this Style Factor Edge Booster Edge Control. This is the blueberry scent one. Okay, so now that we're back to square one, another little style I like to do sometimes is I literally just take my head wrap, do the same thing, line it up to the front, make sure it's nice and flat, pull on both sides, bring it to the back, and make two like ponytails, and just tie them. If you have some loose hair in the back, make sure you don't pull you those parts. Cause that's gonna hurt. So it's nice and secure. Make sure it's nice and lined in the front. I'm gonna tie my hair in this. It's okay. So you can leave it like this, or since I see the knot is on this side, no, I'm gonna take it. Take this side, take this side, twist it all the way around. And then tuck. And it's like a like, nice little side ponytail. So this looks better than the first one. I kind of showed you like right before I did the basic one. This is makes it seem like it's coming right through the bun. And if you don't want it so long, let's see if I can show you all how long it really is. It's like to my waist, so y'all not gonna be able to see that. You can make it a little bit shorter. I'm still gonna cover up this little piece of hair. I kind of like the twisted look, so that's how they're gonna do that. And 
You can like wrap it around and then tuck it into place. So I'm gonna pull this piece through so that it's more secured. See, I'm pulling that through. That just so it's a little bit more secured. I'm gonna fluff it up. Oh, I like that. I like this. I just did this, y'all. So next up, I'm gonna show you all the most common head wrap you see a lot, which is the one where you kind of pull it up, you have the bun at the top of the head. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do this for people with, if your hair is braided down like mine's, or if you have short hair, I'm, I'm, I got you. I got you, sis. So we want the majority of this to go to the front. And do the same thing, and <laughs> do the same thing that you do, that we did in the beginning, but the opposite way. So we're gonna line it up to the hairline in the back, pull on both sides to make sure it's nice and flat, and pull it to the front. Like that. Okay, are you with me? Are you with me? Now, I went ahead and pinched the underneath. I'm gonna take my right hand, smooth this down. And then just start to twist. And one good tip, the tighter you do this, the smaller the butt is going to be, the looser you do it. You can do it tight at the beginning so that to make sure that it's nice and secure. But once you do that first full wrap right here, you can loosen it up as much as you want. So that's what I'm going to do. And not kind of tighten it too much. And just play around with it because that's a lot of things we just do is just play around with it. You just want to try to tuck it the best way that you can. Do it simple like this. If you want it more down, you can always kind of shift it or redo it so that it's more on your forehead. But this is this one. Okay, so for my girls with this short hair, or if your hair is like braided down like mine's, and what I like to do with this, like when I wash my hair, I braid it into like plaits. And since we're in quarantine, even if we weren't in quarantine and I was just wearing my head wraps, I like to just keep my hair in those plaits and put a satin scarf underneath, because this is, can kind of dry out the hair, because I think it's cotton, I'm not sure if it's much cotton. It's a different type of material. But it can dry your hair out. So that satin scarf can help keep that moisture in. And you can just, throughout the week, add that moisture back into your hair, seal it in, put your hair right back up. Nice and simple. Because some of us, we don't like to do our hair, okay? So I'm going to take a little t-shirt and ball it up. Put it at the top. Make sure it does not fall off. You want to make sure that t-shirt is nice and hidden. You do not want to see it. And if you have did your edges, make sure your edges is out so you can see those as well. And you just want to cross them over. So with this piece left out, you want to go ahead and make sure that Shirt. I was about to say like, sock. It's a shirt, girl. 
and just twist this all the way around. And tuck it into place. Shift it to wherever you want it to be. But this is how this looks. You can do these however you want it, however it looks to you. I kind of like it like this. I like this side. I don't know about this. It's just more than like the smoother side and this side is like more details. I like details like that. Okay, my hair is about having enough with this, but for the last one, it's gonna be like, I did it yesterday and I thought it was so cute to me. It's like two little buns, like space buns, you know how we do the little puff ball, but we're doing two little cinnamon buns in the back. I think it's so cute to me at least. Let's see. So we're gonna do it how we did at the beginning. Make sure it's nice and flat. Bring it to the back and we're gonna go ahead and tie it. one side and twist that up and you're gonna start to form like a little cinnamon bun see if it acts right for me today remember the less the looser it is like tightness like when you're twisting around the bigger that it will be Just go all the way around. I'm getting ready to tuck it at, at this point. I'm gonna tuck it all the way through. And I'm leaving this out because I think I like that. Just have a little nice and little braid out. And if you don't want to add as much of it out, I don't lost the piece. Just pull some back in. Like so, like that. If you watch Tabata. <laughs> I don't know why I said her name like that. Top of the, you know, you know where, you know where it's at. So you do the same thing to the other side. And if you don't want these out, you can easily just tuck them back in. But I pull it through because that gives it, it makes it more secured. So do the same thing on this side if you don't want it out. It makes it more secured. It's kind of uneven. What's her name? I don't watch Star Wars, but I think it's Star Wars. I ain't about to do this. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I know who I'm talking about. But it reminds me of her. But this is how it looks. Anyways, this concludes the end of this video. I hope it's not too long. I really do, because that means I have to edit it. But hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you guys some little ideas of what to do with your hair, especially if you don't feel like doing your hair in your hair, especially if you're natural and you really don't feel like doing your hair while we're just in the house. Just wash your hair, moisturize it, deep condition it, moisturize, so that moisture in, put in some braids or twists or whatever you wanna do. Get your hair wrap, you can use a t-shirt, you can use a long infinity scarf. Use what you have. You do not have to go out and purchase, but if you like everybody else that's just constantly ordering things, I ain't got to that point yet. I'm gonna say yet. I haven't gotten to that point yet. You can go ahead and order you one. I don't really remember where I got this from, but I really do love it and I hope to buy more. I hope that I do find that store because I believe it was black owned. So hopefully I do remember. If I do remember, I'm gonna link that down in the description box below. But anyways, I see you all in the next video. Ow. <laughs> Ow.